were the last interview meeting with Sean McVay. Um, so I want to ask you about how that went, uh, first off. And the second thing, did you foresee any of this happening early on with Sean McVay and the career that he would have? And he's still the youngest head coach, after all. Yeah, great, great question. And uh, here's, uh, you know, just just my respect and, and uh, appreciation for Stan Kroenke. Uh, Stan was like, look, you know, we have some coaches. Um, there's one guy I want you to meet. I want you to, like, really tell me, like, tell me, what, what do you think? What, what do you think of this guy? And um, we like him, but we, you know, we're, we're not 100% sure yet. And uh, and so I, I sat down, I, like, I actually flew up and um, we had dinner and everybody left the table and Sean and I we was there and we were just talking ball. And um, in the sense of not just strategy, but what does it mean to a coach? What does it mean to a player? And um, for somebody who hadn't played in the NFL, his his outlook on it, it was amazing. Now, the X's and O's and listen to him talk about like the dynamics of, of from from like year to year, I mean, decade to decade, how the game changed. And I know he wasn't around the game that long, but being a historian of the game is a guy, he goes back and he looks at film and he watches stuff and listening to him talk about what he saw us do uh, with Mike Martin and, and, and all of that. Um, I remember telling, uh, I told Stan, I said, Stan, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you today as a head coach, he's not ready. I said, but by the time he is ready, he's not going to be there for you. 